If you are new to Facebook ads, then it can all seem a bit overwhelming. If you're looking to start running Facebook ads or meta ads, so that's Facebook and Instagram ads, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up a meta business suite so you can be up and running Facebook and Instagram ads in no time. Setting up a business manager is important as it's going to stop you from getting your account hacked, from getting your ads disabled, and it's the way Facebook prefers you to run and manage Facebook and Instagram ads. The first thing that you need to know is that your Meta Business Manager is connected to your Facebook profile. So you want to make sure that you're using the profile that you use to post videos and photos and connect with your friends. Your primary Facebook profile is the one that you're going to want to use when it comes to setting up your Meta Business Suite. The way Meta Business Managers work is as follows. You can think of your business manager as a folder that holds all of your Meta assets that you need to run Facebook and Instagram ads. And if you're just getting started and wanting to run some Facebook ads, only really a couple that you're gonna to need to worry about, which is your ad account and your Facebook page, both of which you need to run Facebook ads. If you are a marketing agency or you are a person that runs multiple businesses, all of which you want to advertise for, then you may want to have one ad account and one page for each business that you own or each business that you manage you need both an ad account and a page to run ads on Facebook. So we're gonna jump right into my screen. I'm gonna walk you through the steps to set up your Meta Business Manager in just a few minutes. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is make sure that we are logged onto Facebook on our computer. So you can see here, I'm logged into Facebook. Make sure you're uh, logged into the correct profile. I've set this profile up as a test profile and I'm gonna delete it uh, once I've finished with this video. You want to make sure you're logged into your correct Facebook profile. That is the profile that you use for all of your activity, messaging friends, posting photos, videos, and also um, that you have access to your pages. So you ready to see that? If you come into here, you'll be able to create a new page or see the page that you have access to. And so if you run a business, this will be the page that your uh, this will be your business page. If you're an agency. Um, and you're setting up a business manager to manage agency accounts, you obviously won't see the pages in here. I'll do another video about access and how to give access, grant access, and request access from client Facebook pages. So for this, just first thing you need to do, make sure you're logged into Facebook. The second thing you want to do is when you're going to want to go to business.facebook.com. And this is the business side of Facebook, and this is where you're gonna set up a business manager. So like here is you're gonna see something like this. It's going to say, let's get started uh, with business tools from Meta or something similar. Meta has a funny way of uh, changing um, what they show you different times. So if you already have a business manager, it's either it's going to log you straight into uh, your business manager or it's going to give you the option to choose your business manager. Um, you can either select an existing one or you can create a new one. And if you create a new one, it will be the same steps as I'm showing you now. So we're going to go ahead here and click create an account. Uh, we're going to name this. I'm going to call this sample business manager I right, just sample business so you'll call this wherever your business name is um just pop that in there uh your name which i'm using a fake name obviously for this uh, example because i've already got a business manager several business managers under my profile um and once you've done that you want to grab an email address which i've got here uh this is just a email address i just created uh to be able to record this video so if i paste this in here click submit and hopefully this will um create the business manager now I did try to do this already uh, after I just created the Facebook uh, profile and obviously it didn't work because it needs to wait an hour after I create the Facebook profile I also need to verify my phone number so there's a good chance that Facebook will ask for phone verification if you don't have that it will give you a prompt to add a phone number I recommend strongly that you do this this is called two-factor authentication um, and this will just secure your profile um, so you want to make sure that you do that if it prompts you now I'm gonna click done this is the home of your business manager. Now, you're gonna see ad accounts in here and pages as you set them up and as you create them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the business settings. It's the best place to start because it's just gonna show you a holistic view of everything that's going on. I'm gonna walk you through these different settings. Now, if you go into people, it's gonna be yourself. If you have a business partner and you wanna add them to your business manager, you can just add, click add people uh, and you can send them an email invite via the email address and, and you can then um, create you know, a sample. So if I just do uh, test, email at gmail oh, test at gmail.com for example go next 
I can then decide what access I want them to have. If they're an employee, um, I maybe just want them to have apps integrations or uh, if I click advanced options, I think, uh, yeah, you might want to give them, you decide basically. Um, and you don't have to do this now. You can put this in here and come back later and change it. Um, but everything is usually what you would need if you want to create ad, ad accounts, you want to add payment methods, you want to create or, or request access to pages. So you would click next and then you would then be able to come in here and if your pages were already there you'd be able to get them access kind of think of this as like a folder uh, for permissions and these are all kind of like fo fo folders within your business manager so if i go to people to folder including all the people in there if i go to partners this is for like a marketing agency so for example at our agency we would request access via partner id and you would come in here um, and you would give them access i'm going to show you i'll show you now um business info is where you're going to want to go to find uh, partner id so you can see here business manager id got a string of numbers here um, if you worked with a agency or a client so if you worked with an agency and you want to give them access um, they're likely going to give you a partner ID which is this one if you're an agency and you want clients to give you access you need to give them this partner ID they would then go into partners and they would add a partner and they would paste in that partner ID and they'd be able, be able to give you access to assets so I'm inside of one of my business managers um, and I'm going to show you how you would go ahead and um, create a new ad account. So you would come in here and you would click create a new ad account. This is if you, for example, had access to an ad account, you wanted to pull it into your business manager, you can often just paste the ad account ID and it will pull it in. Um, this one here is if you want to request access to a client's um, ad account, then you can pop that in there and they'll get a little notification to say that you've requested it. But for this instance, we're just creating one. So we're going to go into create a new ad account. You would then give your ad account a name, test ad, I'm not going to do it now, but test ad account. Uh, you will click next, uh, click my business, and then you will click create. I'm not going to do that, but once you've done that, it will then prompt you to create a, um, add a payment method to that account. And once you've added a payment method to that account, you can then um, use that ad account on Facebook. You might have to verify that payment method, but you can use that ad account on Facebook. now. The next thing you're gonna to need to do is add a page. So if you come here, um, obviously I'm having issues here, but if you have your own Facebook page that you're already an admin of, um, what I'm gonna show you how to do now is you're gonna to wanna to request access to that page. Now this is if you're already an admin. If you don't have a page, you can just go ahead and create a new one inside of here. This will be op option will be open for you. But if you don't have, if you do already have a page, you wanna come into pages, click add, add a page. Now. Very different to create a new page. Adding a page is if you already have admin access, i.e. you already own a page, you can click here. You can search for your page name and it will come up and then you can click add page and it will automatically pull that page into your um, business manager and you can then um, run ads to that page. Once you're ready to go, you're gonna wanna click here and click ads manager. In fact, I'll show you inside of this one. So you wanna click ads manager from your ads manager uh, you will have a selection of ad accounts and there'll be a drop down here where you can click and you can select the ad account that you want to use. You can then go in and create your ads. That's pretty much everything um, that you need to do to create a business manager. If you want more content around this, um, around ads, setting up, make sure you check out the other videos on the channel. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or topics that you'd like me to cover when it comes to running Facebook ads or just general marketing, make sure to comment down below and I'll be sure to cover them in following videos. Also, make sure that if you are a business that's looking for help with your marketing, you wanna outsource your Facebook ads. We've been doing Facebook ads for nearly eight years and we've got a team here in the UK that is managing uh, ad accounts for more than 40 companies across the UK. So if you wanna reach out, make sure you do so by hitting the link in the description below. Otherwise, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.